right now, ABC 24 News digging into who's behind the huge investment firms that are gobbling up thousands of single-family homes in Shelby County. They're targeting the same smaller homes that young families typically want to buy, turning them into rentals and making it harder for the average person to afford. More now from Jenny DiPrizio. It was definitely a lot longer of an experience than I anticipated. Tyler Ladner recently bought this home in Shelby County, but it wasn't easy. He made seven offers on different homes, often 10 to 20 percent above asking and kept losing to investors. A lot of these investors were coming in and, and making um, all cash, no contingency offers. So it's kind of hard to compete with that. According to the Shelby County Property Assessor's Office, of the 7,000 homes that were bought by investors and turned into rental properties in the past two years, Cerberus Capital Management out of New York purchased the most, just over 1,400. The median appraised value of those homes they bought were just over $145,000. According to the company's website, the investment firm manages more than $55 billion in assets. In its portfolio, it has more than 24,000 single-family homes under management in 20 U.S. markets. Predium Partners, also based in New York, bought more than 1,300 Shelby County homes. The median price, just over $200,000. According to its website, it has 66,000 homes in 29 markets with a 96% occupancy rate. Another group, American Homes for Rent, is a real estate investment trust out of California. If you go on its website, you can find homes for rent in Memphis. And according to the property assessor's analysis, it bought... 450 homes in Shelby County in the last two years. The median value is more than $213,000. According to the company's website, it owns more than 50,000 homes in 22 states. For an investor, this is, it's, it's a dream. Jay Bailey with the property assessor's office says most of the homes purchased are inside the beltway, but sales have happened all over the county. If you check realtor websites, you'll see listings are often marketed to investors. Some even require packages of homes be sold in bundles. Bailey says it's not only squeezing out the typical buyer because they can't compete, Shelby County is losing money. Those investment companies don't pay commercial property taxes. They pay residential property taxes. I need to tell you that. And so they're, pay, they're paying the same taxes that my mother and grandmother would pay. Bailey says something needs to be done to stop the average buyer from being squeezed out of the market. That's something Ladner understands. Where is the middle ground to where, you know, regular people have a place to live and then, you know, but you still allow people to invest if, if they want to choose, so it's tough. In East Memphis, I'm Jenny DiPrizio.